You know, Mike had a little bit more time to slow down. And he's not in as big of a hurry as Josh either. So, you know, in Josh's favor, I'd say it's, it's possible with the glare coming up that hill around the corner, which we've seen him ducking for that, that he just saw those flags too late. Yeah, it's getting certainly later in the day here, Pacific time, and the sun is now almost directly in the rider's eye. So there's a lot of reasons why Grant might not even have seen that flag. And I'm not sure how they'll rule on that. What has happened, though, is he opened up a pretty big gap. Now Alessi is beginning to close back in. So every time Josh Grant thinks he's safe, Alessi mounts another challenge. This might be the third battle between these two in this moto. Well, here comes another storm. Yeah. Number 800, and uh, five minutes to go, and then they get two lap board. So there's plenty of time for Mike to do something, and they're starting to get into lap. Ooh, a little mistake oh. there from, from Josh. You know, when you start messing up your concentration a little bit like that, it's possible when he's thinking back on, man, I probably shouldn't have jumped down that hill now that I think about it. And then your concentration is messed up a little bit. And you have little mistakes like that. Mike gets close, the crowd gets into it, pressure, whole new race. Oh, man, you cannot lose concentration on this track. Look at the size of those ruts. Look at the huge brakey bumps they're dealing with as they get on the brakes into this corner. And by the way, you still have Chad Reed about three seconds behind Mike Alessi. So if they get into another one of those cat and mouse games, as they call it, where you slow each other down to try to block the lines, it allow uh, Reed back there in third, entering this section of jumps right now to get back in the hunt. Uh, this is about the closest Reed good. has been. Yes, yes. He is close. These guys are going to feel that. I, they may already have it on their pit boards. Uh, I don't know that's going to change anything for uh, Mike because Reed was sixth in Moto One, Josh ninth. So even if Reed was to pass Mike and he just laid up and took a third, which I, I doubt he'll allow happen, Mike would still win the overall. He's in a great position. He's in a great position. So are we. We're going to watch this battle right down to the finish. Stay with us here on Speed. Great racing today at Hangtown. We'll see some more great racing tomorrow on Speed. Very special event, the World Superbike Championship returns to the U.S. for a doubleheader at Miller Motorsports Park near Salt Lake City. American Ben Speeds returns home to take on the world's best. He's already taken the pole position for that race. The coverage starts at 5 p.m. Eastern time exclusively on Speed. You do not want to miss that. You don't want to miss this. A thrilling conclusion. One minute, 10 seconds, and two laps left. Josh Grant and Mike Alexi for the Moto win here at Hangtown, David. Yeah, with a minute eight to go, I, I'm wondering what the time's going to be when they cross the finish line because it is, if it's one second left, they still won't get that two lap board, which yep. Chad Reed is probably hoping for. He needs a little bit more time. I, I said he needs to get going earlier, and you know, I'm sure Chad probably watching this later going, duh, I know yep. that, David, <laughs> but it's, it's harder than it looks. I am trying. But I, if you know, Josh Grant looks a little sloppy and a little weary to me. He's fast, he's doing a great job. He's, he certainly has every right to be a little tired at this point. Look at this track. Yeah. And the, the little mess up he had through there earlier, the exchange, to get back into that lead, all that fight, it had to have taken its toll. With Mike, I think he trains a little bit harder. You know, if anything, he's overtrained. But I, I, he's pretty prepared for this. And going back to last week, you know, on the podium, he goes, it, it, in regards to Villapoto, he's like, it, it's a long season. You know, I think Villapoto and I are going to battle all the way down to the wire. Villapoto's out of this now, so Mike can smell a title. And uh, he doesn't have to make this pass, but if he did, boy, he would really, really establish himself in this uh, series the way that Villapoto did last week. Well, exactly. I was going to say with Villapoto out, he just joined us. He has a knee injury, and he has announced he is done for the season. Guys like Grant are the ones that Alessi will have to battle for the championship with. And they're ready to battle as the two-lap board just came out. Here it is, Alessi versus Grant. Grant gets the signal board from his mechanic. Two laps to go. Great advice. Keep his head down and charging. Great advice. Look ahead. Don't worry about this stuff behind you. All you got to do is what you've been doing. Ooh, but the Chad problem is, right is, is the heat. It, somebody just turned it way up. Yeah. Chad's in there now. <laughs> this is what we talk about with fitness. These are some of the most physically fit athletes on the planet. They ride bicycles. They run. They ride. And it all comes down to this, 30 minutes, and now you've got to put in your best laps of the day. Alessi versus Grant with Chad Reed waiting in the wings in third. Uh, Mike just bonsaied up that hill, <laughs> hit a bump, got fucked. He wants this back. He does not want to have Chad get by him. I mean, they get along, their teammates and all. It's happy under the tent, but Mike doesn't want Chad. And Chad's the Supercross guy, and Mike struggles there. Mike's like, hey, this is outdoor, man. This, this is my office. Stay back there. But he's going to have to work hard for this. Well, Grant and Alessi, as we mentioned, they're two kids from California. Oh, and Alessi went out of that line. I was going to say that they're very familiar with battling each other, but 
Alessia unfortunately couldn't find the right he wanted. The familiar run on the inside, he popped out of it. So Grant able to survive again. A lap and a half to go. Who wants it? Who's got the fitness? I would think at this point, they're all kind of feeling it in one way or another. It just it's who can fight through the pain the most by now. Yeah, this is just hard determination. Yeah. You know, they can smell the barn. It's so close. <laughs> It's just a matter of mistakes right now. I think if, if things continue like this, I don't know that Mike really has a line anywhere where he's going to be able to make a move. And I think Chad's back there going, I, I had a hard time just getting to here. I don't have a, a creative line, a, a secret trick up my sleeve either. I think right now these guys are just trying to keep the pressure on each other and hope for mistakes. Well, the track is at its roughest. The sun is giving them the toughest vision they've had to deal with all day long. It's probably sweat out, falling down to the inside of their goggles. They've already put in one 30-minute plus two lap moto. We're on the second one of the day in the heat of California. And somehow these three, with major respect being shown from the huge crowd here at Hangtown, have put on an amazing show on the last lap. Grant versus Alessi versus Reed for the moto victory. It doesn't get much better than this. And Reed by no means is, you know, the old guy or anything, but these are a couple of kids ahead of them that right. were just amateurs a few years ago. You know, I mean, it seems like it hasn't been that much time since I was out at amateur nationals with my son watching these guys battle on, on smaller bikes, and here they are leading the biggest race there is. This is the championship. It's international. You got Chad from Australia. That was a little mistake. Boy Gibbs watching on going, come on, man. 45 minutes or seconds or maybe a minute more. That's yeah. all we need out of you. Hang on. It'll be the first ever moto victory for this team, which is in their second year of motocross racing. We already know, of course, the success they've had at NASCAR. Joe Gibbs also won a couple of Super Bowl championships. Can they deliver here in the biggest race in the sport of motocross? We're going to find out. Good line by Grant on the inside to protect the Alessi. If I was Grant right now, I'd be nervous because there's plenty, oh, oh. plenty of places where Mike could shove a wheel in and, and create a pass and make something happen down the stretch. And Josh has got to do everything just right. If he doesn't, he's going to lose. Listen to the fans. That's the only thing the riders have on their side. That'll give them a little inspiration. That's the corner where Grant came off the motorcycle earlier, had one hand on the bar, wide open on the throttle, and was able to hold the lead. He makes it through there clean this time. Time is running out for Alessi to make this happen. Remember, Alessi will win the overall for the day because he won the first moto, but these three are going to battle it out for the championship all summer long, and there's a lot of pride at stake, if not points. Yeah, I thought it would be Villapoto in there. And in his absence, the absence there's uh, plenty of talent still. This is it. And Mike's only got another one or two opportunities. When they drop down this hill, and he can duck it to the inside, maybe. Oh, he overjumped. Josh is protecting that inside. Look at that. Great line by Grant. Here we go, the final quarter. Alessi pulls up alongside. He's going to try an outside line. Josh Grant wins the moto. Alessi wins the overall. And a great run by Chad Reed to finish third. He's out of tearoffs. He's wiping the goggles down. And look at that. Great camaraderie between the teams. The Suzuki people what and race. the Joker's Racing Yamaha people. Yeah. Tedesco's so like, too. man, where did they go? I mean, he yeah. did. He rode awesome. What a what a nice rebound for him. Dan Reardon in fifth. Nice ride for, for him and the Geico Honda support Honda team. But man, uh, I told you at the top of the show, it had the potential to be even better than Glen Helen. It was. And remember, we also mentioned before this moto, if the absence of Villapoto would give a little spring in the step of some of these riders, and I think we've seen it. That second moto was the best we've seen all year. And the three motos previous to this were awfully good. Josh Grant has a victory. That's going to do a lot for his confidence, because that was a dogfight, oh, and yeah. he won. Okay, one more time where Mike had the opportunity to win a dogfight, and although he wins the overall and has plenty to smile about in terms of the championship, the overall for the day, it's just one of those little dogfights that have been so much better for him and his confidence and to show his competitors, I can win those. Well, we talk about how mental this game, and, uh, game is. The next time they're in a battle like that, this time, unless he was bearing down on Grant, maybe Grant was a little worried. Would he be a little more relaxed the next time Mike is behind yeah, him? Because he's like, now yeah, he's got a victory. Done it before. Yeah. Do it again. So mixed emotions down there. Unless he's pumped to have won the overall, Grant is just as pumped to have taken the moto victory. We'll be back to talk to all of these guys when we return. Phenomenal action from Hangtown. Stay with us. Well, we are just catching our breath after a phenomenal second moto here, the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship. Jason Wigand and David Bailey here. We're going to run you through it with our Lucas Oil.